now comes to consideration of an interim report of the Privileges Committee on the question of privilege concerning the agreements for policing, execution of search warrants and collection and retention of information by the NZSIS. Mr Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Christopher Finlinson. Mr Speaker, I move that this House take note of the interim report of the Privileges Committee on a question of privilege concerning the agreements for policing, execution of search warrants and collection and retention of information by the NZSIS. And I emphasise, sir, that it is an interim report. As is well known, the Speaker, on behalf of uh, all members of this House, exercises control over the parliamentary precincts, and the reason for that is to ensure that the House can properly function as a legislature on behalf of the people. And over the years, uh, various speakers have um, signed up to three agreements, and I'll briefly refer to them, but then focus in particular on one of them. The first was when the former speaker, Jonathan Hunt, signed an agreement with the Commissioner of Police on policing functions within the parliamentary uh, precinct. And that followed an examination of a draft agreement by the Privileges Committee, and that uh, agreement was revised and signed in 2007. The second one I wish to refer to is that in 2006, the then Speaker, Margaret Wilson, presented an agreement to the House. It was one that she had entered into with the Commissioner of the New Zealand Police, setting out some interim uh, procedures for the execution of search warrants on premises which were occupied by members of Parliament. Uh, and that was very much an interim agreement, could not be finally resolved until the prosecution and all the appeals relating to Mr Field had been dealt with. A final order in relation to that former member was made on 3 September 2012, and it was that agreement, or that order, I should say, that concluded those proceedings. And then the third one was that in 2010, the former Speaker, um, Sir Lockwood Smith, entered into a memorandum of understanding with the NZSIS and the Minister in charge of the service on the collection and retention of uh, information on members of Parliament. So last year in September 2012, the Speaker referred those three agreements to the Privileges Committee and asked that they take a good look at them as they involved questions of privilege. This is an interim report because in the last couple of weeks some amendments to security legislation have been introduced and uh, that, those matters are currently being considered by the Intelligence and Security Committee of Parliament. And the critical issue that has arisen is in relation to the proposed amendments dealing with oversight uh, capability uh, of the Inspector General. Uh, the committee took a good look at those proposed amendments and thought there was an issue which arose about whether or not they uh, provided clearly for oversight of the intelligence agencies in circumstances where a person such as the Speaker may wish to complain to the Inspector General on behalf of members of Parliament, that is the House of Representatives, not a particular person within the House, but on behalf of the House of Representatives, uh, that it has been or may be affected adversely, adversely by the actions or procedures of the intelligence services. So it's a very limited inquiry, unlike the previous report that we've been discussing this afternoon, focuses on those amendments and suggests that that issue of oversight in relation to a person such as the Speaker in the circumstances I've outlined uh, could in fact be uh, looked at by the Intelligence and Security Committee and whether some tweaking uh, of some of the clauses of that bill is required. So 
that's all the, uh, this report uh, deals with the other substantive matters in relation to the three agreements that I've referred to uh, will be the subject of a separate report to Parliament in due course. The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and thank you for the opportunity to, to make some remarks.